So today we are going back to the basics of breads. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is actually the, the one that's not usually the first thing to make, which is the rich dough. So two kinds, there's lean and rich. Lean dough just means you have sometimes a bit of sugar, and of course there's flour, salt, and yeast. But for the rich dough, that just means there's more egg, more sources of fat like milk or butter or margarine, it could be eggs too. But this one, I call it the basic rich dough. You can use it for a lot of things, like for business too, because it's really cheaper. Like for this recipe, we're just using like half a cup of butter, one piece of egg, yeah, that's right. Silang, that's it. Milk, salt, mix until dissolved and set aside. After that, we are just gonna mix our dry ingredients together. So I have here some flour, all purpose flour, and sugar. I'm using washed cane. Next up is my instant dry yeast. Mix them all together. Time to mix your actual dough. Oh, first, all the liquid ingredients. One piece of large egg dough. Right, once the dough is developed, meaning it can form into one ball and it's cleaning the sides of your bowl, you add your softened butter. I'm using half a cup or half a bar. Yeah, if you want to check your dough situation, make sure to rub some butter or oil on your hands. Make sure your hands are clean first. Try to spread it as thin as you can. And nakita nyo na pupunit siyang ganyan. That means your dough isn't ready. Right, let's put it back. Keep on kneading. Right, sa itsura niya, by the looks of it, ready na yung dough mo. Why? Because Number one, the sides are already clean. And I can see that the dough is a bit smooth. Pero para sigurado, we can do the window pane test. And just really try to stretch it out as thin as you can. And the goal here is for light to come through. Now you want it to be the size of at least a 25 centavo coin. Like this, like at the bottom. You poke it a bit. Hindi na siya meaning it's good to go. The next step will be bulk fermentation. Why do we want bulk fermentation? Is it necessary? No. But will it help your bread become tastier? Yes. Okay, so, I use lang natin. I have here a greased bowl. Put it here, cover it with a moist towel, or if you have that wax thing, then you're good to go. Yeah, and so this is our oh, well rested dough. Yeah, so before I turn it, onto our flat surface. Again lang natin, let's just grease it a bit with some butter or oil. Oil na lang. Bloop. Okay, so next step is to punch out the air. <laughs> let's get 400 grams for our loaf. Go tayong 8 pieces na 40 grams. We'll use it for the pork floss buns. So next, 30 grams for the logs. Okay, so this stage is called the makeup stage, meaning this after this, it's gonna be proofing, doing the final proofing, and then baking. Even once you form it here, that's how it's gonna look. Well, of course, it's gonna expand a bit or proof. Grab your dough. It's okay if it's not like a perfect circle. Use your hands, flatten it out like that. And the end part, it's gonna be a bit thinner than the rest. It's gonna act as the glue that will hold the whole loaf together. Right, so from here, I pull, then roll, then I tuck it in until you get this. Then you put it here in the corner. Why the corner? So it would fill out, it would proof that way, and then upwards. So for the cheese roll, we're, we are using the 30 gram buns. Okay, here, I take this one, no need to make it into a perfect round dough. Then I take this, take a cheese, take the end, fold it, then I take the sides, fold it towards the middle, then roll. Okay, then sides to middle, roll, sides to middle, kung meron pa extra, and then 
roll. Yan yung cheese roll natin. Aww. Brush your pan with a bit of butter or oil or margarine. Unlike cookies, this is gonna need more than one half the space. Okay, for the next bread, get your spam. Ooh. Oh. Gawin na natin yung cream cheese. So you get your perfect ball. Seam side down. Yeah, just roll it like client. Make sure nakasha si spam. Okay, yeah. So lagyan natin ng cream cheese para mas wild. Yan, then just flip. Okay lang yung mga may nakasilip-silip dun sa gilid. So for our one fourth bread, the pork floss. Again, flatten it out. Add some pork floss. So we're done with all the makeup. Now let's leave this to do its final rise or final proofing. So what we're looking for is at least double in size. And for this one, we just want it to fill out the loaf pan. Yeah. So it's doubled in size. Ang iyegosh lang natin is the spam and the loaf bread. Now this goes into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> So, luto na siya. Yan. So, okay lang naman na hindi siya pantay because we are gonna brush it with some mayo. Just a bit, not a lot. Now we're done with the floss. Time to work on the cheese roll and the spam roll. So yung sa cheese roll, lalagyan lang natin ng butter right after it comes out of the oven. So we'll wait like a minute or two, add another coat of butter, then toss it in some powdered sugar. Finally, we are done with our basic dough. So uh, just to reiterate, there are actually two types of doughs, lean dough and the rich dough. So uh, this one is the rich dough because it contains more fat, more sugar. And I just showed you that one dough can be actually made into a lot of things. So aside from the cream cheese and spam, pork floss, cheese roll, and the loaf that I made, you can also use it for your hot dog buns, burger buns, or dinner rolls. Para mishon pa tayong gawin. Let's do this. Tot tot tot. Okay. Jeez. Pam and cream cheese. It's very good. So the bread is still super fluffy, even if I over baked it a bit. See, I don't lie to you guys. Super good. Now, I really think that spam is really the best with bread. So, for the cheese roll. Just to give you a reason why I use processed cheddar cheese as compared to using uh, quick melt. Yes, it might taste good. It has that stretchy thing for like a, the first few seconds of it coming out of the oven. But what would happen if you, you use uh, melty cheese like that? It's gonna form some steam. Because you see that bit of hole there? It's gonna multiply into like two or three. So this gonna be, the bread is gonna turn out super flat and not appetizing. And so that was the basic rich dough. I hope you guys learned something today and I hope you guys try it yourselves. Right? So hopefully marami pang essentials. <laughs> I'll see you guys again next time.